I'm trying to bring discard back into relevance with Gambit. Gambit reads, on reveal, discard a card from your hand to destroy a random enemy card. What this means is you need to have cards in your hand to discard. To achieve that goal, we have Proxima Midnight, who when discarded, jumps from your hand to the lowest power location you have, a free seven power card. There is Swarm, who when you discard him, you have two free three power cards. And then we have Apocalypse, who can never truly be discarded out of your hand because he gains power and returns back to your hand. To achieve our Gambit plans on a mass scale, we have Wong and Absorbing Man. There's also Morbius, who benefits from all of this discarding we're doing. And now there's Gwynpool. You're broadcasting this back to the people from my Earth, and I want in on it! Who buffs cards in your hand, so now you have even more powerful cheap cards. We round out the deck with Magic to extend the game a little bit longer, Echo to protect our Wong lane from a potential Cosmo, and Mystique, who can copy both Morbius and Wong. Let's get into some games. Okay, first up we have victory. a victory against Zarin. First up we have Carter D. Brown City, we have Gambit and Absorbing Man, Gwynpool and Absorbing Man, and the Mystique for a potential Morbius or Wong. It could be nice hiding cards into Dark Dimension. I I don't want to expose... Okay, we are up against the Arishim deck. We'll play Morbius into Brown City. They're going to think I'm... Hella. Okay. Because Gambit won't destroy unrevealed cards. But maybe that's okay. Yeah, I still hold. I don't want to discard Blade. There's the Wong. So get him down. I don't have magic to extend the game. They are playing small cards. Okay, Gambit, I, I think this will work. So if I play... Uh-oh. Echo into Gambit. Oh, but Gambit's going to destroy... No, oh, he's going to get rid of my Absorbing Man. This is super risky. Okay, let's see what tech they have. Doom rules all. Dr. Doom, okay. All right, there's one. They did not get rid of my exploring man. Okay. I still don't have the lead though. Absorbing man, pump up the Morbius, and then just echo for points. Should I see this through? I take out two cards. It's a, it's all a gamble. Let's gamble. Uh, I can still play for the right, but let's see what they have for me. I only delete two cards. So it really is going to come down to Gambit's aim and him hitting middle. <laughs> let's, let's see if he can hit middle. You have two shots. Oh, Absorbing Man. I'm sorry. Not Gambit, Absorbing Man. Hey, apprehend this. Oh. And I don't think it matters at this point. I think that was the co oh look at this absorbing man gambit aim. How did you do that? With style, Petit. With style. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> look at that aim. Fantastic. Uh, of course, this was a this was a very ill-advised stay, but. Listen, when you're playing this card, you, you take some gambles. This was a calculated gamble. They didn't have a lot of cards on their side of the board, so I was willing to roll that die. I needed, uh, I think he was at 11 power. What power was? Spider-Man 2099 was at nine power. I needed, it would have been a tie. I think I went tiebreaker. But anyway, fantastic aim. Thank you for not missing. And I will take those very lucky eight cubes. Okay, we are up against Radius. We have an okay starting hand. They are running a normal deck. 
Avengers Compound. I think I will just play Echo Middle. I will Magic Elsewhere. Let's see. I think I leave Jotunheim because that dissuades people from playing over there, so there's less cards on the board. So let's go that route. Okay, Sebastian Shaw. So we probably leave that lane alone. I will play out Gwynpool now. I don't have any of my discard cards. And she hits Apocalypse and Absorbing Man. There's my discard cards. So what I can do is I can do Absorbing Man and Blade. So let's hope Swarm gets hit. And then I get some free swarms out of this. They get my Wong, but not quite. So we know we will not be drawing into Wong, so the best we can hope for is a single Gambit. And funny, we could actually challenge Sebastian. Let's see, what's this Apocalypse at? 10? This gets 2, 4, 6, 8, 21. Hmm, this is going to be rough. I think I challenge left. I think I'm going to challenge left. Because middle, yeah, with middle and surfer. I don't think I'm ever winning middle. So swarm. Swarm here. And Gambit? I'm not sure how Proxima works. Jumps to your lowest power to location that isn't full. So that means she's always going to jump right. It doesn't matter about play order. Or let's expose a bug if that is the case. So I'm always losing middle. So just Gambit right because that's more points. And let's see how the cookie crumbles. Into Absorbing Man. Oh, that's close. Did I win on left? By one? Okay. All right, Gambit. I don't think it matters. Oh, look at that clutch win. Look at that. Fantastic. Victory. This was a very unorthodox path to victory. I didn't have my Wong clearly, we got one hit off of the Gambit, but Gwynpool and Absorbing Man really came to shine this game, and the play order was important, I hope you paid attention to that, and getting Proxima, we knew where she was going to land, and even though their Gwynpool put in some work with this huge surfer, we had enough points thanks to our Gwynpool. Radical. I wonder if I play Gambit down now, yeah okay we're out of here, forget this. Are they going to rip Limbo away from me? This is a Enchantress snap. We're, we're getting out of here. Or a Cosmo snap. Yeah. Yeah, we're out of here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they could just play Apocalypse right and win. So we will retreat. And that's I'm sure that's what they did. There's step one. And then Gambit. So let's see if I can make that a reality. Ugh. Oh wow, they they changed the echo. <laughs> the game giveth and the game taketh. So we get out of here for a cube. And blob and we are just cooked. So you get out of here for one. Next up, we are against Glass. The car stinks. I'm going to hold because I... Okay, Apocalypse is a fantastic pull, actually. But now that means I just am left with Swarm. 
So I really need to draw a swarm because I just drew the combo. So we got Echo down. Hiln is fine. We still hold firm. I really want to snap, but I it's required that I draw into Swarm. Get Wong down. Next turn, I can get Mystique and Morbius down in that order and then Gambit away. But again, I need Swarm, so can you please enter my hand? I have a 1 in 5 chance this turn. 2 in 5 overall for the game. And I will try to get out on a very fancy delete your board end move. I'll, I'll take that. That's fine by me. <laughs> Unless you have Cosmo in that deck too. We got him. Okay. Mystique. Into Morbius? Or do I get more points if I blade? I think I get more points if I blade, and then I can Gambit and Morbius on the last turn. Victory. Okay, well, we didn't get to see it play out. <laughs> but this this was setting up to be an absolute annihilation on their side of the board, kind of. Gambit would have taken out four of their cards. That would have been more than enough to win a tiebreaker in my estimation. Even if they filled their whole board, that's literally half of their cards that they would have on the board. So we were just too well positioned. They got, they used the Red Guardian on the Echo. Perfect. I don't care about Echo. Sorry, Echo. It is the Wong. And we were perfectly set up into this and it, it just worked to perfection. Okay, next up we have Crawl. This is the Proving Grounds, just so I can try to get in a Gambit Wong game, since I am limited on recording time. Let's see if I can squeeze one in, because hey, these, cool. these uh, tryhards at the top of Infinite Ladder are trying hard. So we get Echo down middle. This is a normal deck. They have not snapped me back in the Proving Grounds. That is poor form. But it's whatever, who cares? Okay, Silk, this is with Korg. I think I take away Sinister London so they don't have a place to play their Dark Hawk. Okay, they have. Oh, I could do. Who cares if they play their Dark Hawk? And do Wong. This is too tempting. This is very tempting. Who has priority? I have priority. We'll play the, we'll play this, make the smart play. So we'll play Magic into Sinister London. So they can't copy. They were excited to copy. So let's see what they were excited to copy. That's a reason to be excited. <laughs> One cost miles. We will get Wong down next. And then... Probably Gwynpool, yes. Gwynpool, to buff all of our cards. They can take away the rock, that is fine. Alrighty, every card got hit. And then Morbius into Blade. And then I just get a bunch of swarms. I don't know how this works for me middle, but... Oh, no such luck. Okay. And then Gambit Absorbing Man, I have to leave one swarm in my hand. So I think we just load up here and say, don't miss. <laughs> uh, I will play over here. And then this takes out two cards. Let's see what the Gambit Absorbing Man combo does. It's very important that you leave one card in your hand, either one Swarm or one Apocalypse. And they have Dark Hawk left. So let's see what we can do with Gambit. You hit. Oh, nice. Gambit never misses. 
<laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. So, oh, and Dark? Are you kidding me? Wow. Just snipers. Fantastic. So, I, and they're out of here in a quick hurry. I didn't get a chance, unfortunately, to show off the Wong Gambit Absorbing Man or Wong Mystique Gambit. You, in theory, could see how it works. Even when that doesn't come together, you can kind of see how this deck works. I don't want to mislead anybody. This is definitely more of a fun deck. It can also pull off some good wins and some high cube wins because people really aren't out here expecting Gambit at this point or discard in general and the morbius gets up to 12 without the wong that was assisted with gwynpool of course echo is fantastic to either be a shield for wong or help be a target for like red guardian like we got to see it doesn't help again against enchantress of course but even still if you can get to a turn seven you can output good power because of the gwynpool and then gambit and absorbing man combo at the end of the game okay so here's the deck once again I also want to express a lot of gratitude and appreciation for everybody that has decided to become a member of the channel. Oh. Uh, I don't take it for granted. I love bringing you all different kinds of unique decks. I really try to challenge and push myself and be entertaining in the process and informative. So I hope you enjoy whether you get a membership or not. No problem. Uh, I'm not pocket watching. <laughs> so do the financially responsible thing. But for everybody that has decided to become a member, I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I hope to deliver. Thank you once again. And for everybody that watched, thank you. Until next time. Epic battle. <laughs>